If you have the extended version of either Photoshop CS3 or CS4, you have the ability to import full motion video directly into Photoshop. To do this, launch Photoshop and open the video file just like you would open any other image. Photoshop will show you the first frame of the video. To see a timeline, navigate to the Windows Animation menu. You can now either scroll through or play your movie. Photoshop treats each frame as its own individual image. To apply a filter across all the frames, navigate to the Filter menu and select Convert for Smart Filters. Now you can use the Filter Gallery to process your video clip. Depending on your screen resolution, you may need to zoom out a bit to see the full frame of your movie clip. Navigate over to the various filter categories. For example, if you decide you want to give your video a charcoal look, twirl down the sketch category and select charcoal. You can adjust these controls to adjust the parameters of the charcoal filter. Press the OK button when you're done. To create your final movie, navigate to the File menu, Export, Render to Video. This will bring forward the Render Video dialog box. You may want to change the size and or video codec that is compatible with your video editing system. In this example, I'll use the Photo JPEG codec. Before you press the Render button, be sure to give your new movie file a unique name. Be patient. It may take a while to render your final movie. You can now import this movie into your editing system. For other great tips and tricks like these, or to enroll in a training course, visit GeniusDV.com.